Lauren, we're mentioning earlier, they do have um, stuff on their suits to protect from FOD. Um, and they have FOD covers on their boots, as they mentioned, as well as on their umbilical port on their suits. Um, and that's, that one. needs to be removed two hours before and they can ingress. Minutes. The crew so has arrived at the like light room and its ingress is that. in progress on schedule. Just listening into the nets and hearing those updates live. But yes, once the FOD check is complete, uh, they can enter, which is happening live on your screen right now. And as they climb into Dragon, they will buckle themselves in and attach their umbilicals to their suits. And as you can see, the suit techs are there to help them get buckled and settled into those seats. And as we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, the suit's primary function is to protect the crew in the event of a cabin depressurization. So the suits help keep them cool as well as delivers nitrox. Um, in case there is a suit depressurization. As we go through this, we saw Doug Hurley go in first. He's the commander for this mission. He's closest to your screen. And then Bob Bankin's just next to him. And they're going to get some assistance from these suit techs as they get in. There are four seats inside of Dragon for these missions. And they are numbered one through four. If you're looking from the perspective of the suit techs inside the hatch, going from right to left. So Doug Hurley is in seat two, that's the commander seat, and Bob Bankin is in seat three, which for Crew Dragon's the pilot seat. Dragon, SpaceX, Comchat, ground stations. SpaceX, Dragon, loud and clear. Core, loud and clear, ground station, Comchat complete. Stand by for TJ's Comchat.